All right, guys, welcome to the Zeg Extreme InvisiShield test. Uh, Zeg put out this commercial where they literally hit the iPhone with a hammer, shot it with an arrow, dropped a cinder block on it, dropped it on some nails, which we're not going to do, and dropped a bowling ball on it, and we couldn't find a bowling ball. Anyway, let's go ahead and take a look at the setup. We have got a plywood base with some table chairs underneath on grass. Uh, that's going to provide some give, so when we hit it, the phone has the opportunity to bounce up and maybe a little bit uh, diffuse the force uh, between the objects. I'm not sure if that's the right term or not, but that's the term I'm going with. We used to set up like this because it looks like they did it that way. They put it on a table and kind of had a lot of bounce to it. So we want to make sure we keep it fair uh, to Zeg as much as possible. Um, let's go ahead and get to the test. We're going to start with the hammer, move on to the arrows, and then to the cinder block. You ready? Here we go. Three, two, one. It's okay. How is it okay? I hit that pretty hard. <laughs> I can see the hammer indent in the plastic, but the phone is actually completely okay as far as I can see. Impressive. Let's move on to the arrow shot. All right, guys, here's the bow. We've got a hunting tip, which is what they used in the video. Uh, we've got the phone set up very loosely so it can totally fall over or whatever, which is what they had in the video. Um, and we're also going to be shooting it at an angle, kind of like a 45 degree angle ish. So we're hopefully going to see if it uh, can handle that kind of impact. All right, three, three, two. Okay, well, here's the battery. That's what an iPhone battery looks like, in case you were wondering. And be careful, because we saw the arrow, and the arrow just got broken in half, and the blades are completely <laughs> missing. So, uh, here's one. There's a blade. Um, let's take a look at the phone. <laughs> I don't think a screen protector is going to save you at all from an arrow or anything really high impact. That's just ridiculous. I wonder how many times they had to shoot it at just the right angle to get it even the shot where they're grazing it. <laughs> uh, well, let's go ahead and pick up the rest of these pieces and uh, drop the cinder block on it for the funsies. What's up guys, I'm Darren. Uh, I'm going to take the cinder block and drop it onto the phone. Uh, it's already destroyed, uh, just going to destroy it some more and uh, see what happens. Ready? We are good. <laughs> Alright guys, here's the phone. Check it out. That's with only uh, three of the six or seven tests that they did. That's uh, a lot of carnage <laughs> for not even completing all the tests. There you go. It's really impressive that it survived a hammer blow. It's really impressive that it helped it survive a face down drop test. I'd say it's probably worth it getting a screen protector if you can handle having the extra film on the screen. It's kind of unfortunate that the arrow utterly destroyed it. I don't know what kind of bow they were using, like a five pound kitty bow, but it definitely could not handle a regular compound bow. We don't know how really it would have handled the cinder block test or any of the other tests, but it definitely could not handle the arrow test. And that's a fail in our book. So fail, fail, fail. If you want to check out the link to the original video, click right here or down below in the video description. And uh, we'll see you guys next week. We're going to be drop testing a new device. Not sure what it is yet, but it'll be awesome. See you guys then. Don't forget to subscribe, like us on Facebook, and follow us on Twitter. Gizmo slip top.